So here's a demo of our berry bath bombs. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is a really good one because we are discontinuing our much loved pink berry mimosa bath bombs and replacing them with another different berry type of bath bomb. So this bath bomb is gonna be pink and blue and it's gonna be scented with a blend of mulberry and blueberry fragrance oil. So it's just gonna be a really fun, amazing bath bomb. And we're also gonna add some bio glitter to the top of it. So that's gonna be really exciting to watch, I hope. And if that's something that you're interested in, keep watching. <laughs> if you're new here, welcome. My name is Jerrica and I'm the owner and creator of Quench. And on this channel, I show you how to make amazing bath bombs like today's bath bomb. And I also talk about how I sell those and all of the behind the scenes magic of how we run our business. And if that's something that you want to watch more of, please subscribe. And now without further ado, let's get into it. So these are our old pink berry mimosa bath bombs and you can see how they are this beautiful pink color with purple on the side of it. And for this new berry bath bomb, we are coloring it pink and blue and I will be using blue one from fizzfairy.ca and hot pink dye also from fizzfairy.ca and then sprinkled on the top, we will have some of this Champagne and Roses Bio Glitter, also from fizzfairy.ca, and in the middle is gonna be my purple embed powder. And if you're wondering how I make that embed powder, I will link to that video up here. <laughs> and in terms of sending the bath bomb, the Pink Berry Mimosa bath bombs were blended with equal parts Mulberry and Pink Berry Mimosa from Candora Soap. For this new bath bomb, I am going to be scenting it with equal parts Mulberry Fragrance Oil, this one, is from Canwax and I'm running really low on it, and blueberry fragrance oil from Windy Point, which smells amazing. And the two of them together, oh my God, it smells so good. So I'm hoping that this bath bomb's gonna be a hit. With Pinkberry Mimosa leaving the line, we are in need of a bright pink bath bomb because we did find that this bath bomb sold really well just from how vibrantly pink it is alone. And I really, really love fizzfairy.ca's hot pink dye. This is awesome, awesome stuff. Very, very vibrant. So if you wanna see how I make this bath bomb, let's get into it right now. It's super dry in our house right now because it's winter and the heat in our house just totally sucks up all of the ambient moisture. So I've just turned on my humidifier right now and I was right, the levels are around 34% humidity, which is way too dry for bath bomb. So I've turned that on and I set it at 50% to get that humidity level to go up. And then once it reaches around 50, I think we're good to go. But even before it gets up to 50, I find that if I start making bath bombs right now, as soon as I turn it on at the 34% humidity mark, I still get successful bath bombs. So I believe as long as you have a humidifier running, it really helps in making bath bombs. So if you turn it on and the recording of humidity is in the 30s, I wouldn't worry too much about it. I would start making bath bombs and it should still work. At least that's what I've seen from my experience. Now, what I normally do when a bath bomb has two colors, if the colors are similar, for example, that Pink Berry Mimosa bath bomb that I showed you earlier was pink and purple, I would just color the entire batch pink and then add purple later on as a secondary color. But because I want both colors to be as equally bright to one another, I'm going to mix everything up I'm gonna add a little bit of water without dye to the baking soda. And then after I've added my wet ingredients and after I've added my citric, at that point I will split the batch up and then add my colors separately to both parts of the bath bomb mix. And that actually means I won't be diluting the dye at all in a little bit of water. I will just be dumping it straight into the bath bomb mix. So we'll see if I'm still able to achieve super bright, vibrant colors without diluting the dye in some water. I'm experimenting a little bit today, so we'll see how it turns out. Try to 
to keep it up and standing tall Why don't you stay, stay Cause I could really use a friend Stay, please stay Cause my heart really needs a man Somewhere, somehow I guess I lost it all Stay, stay here with me I'm trying to make it up for my mistakes But everywhere I turn some hearts will break Something, someone will end up getting hurt again There's no need to play pretend Why don't you stay, stay Cause I could really use a friend So we have our mix all mixed together. I've added my citric acid, I've added my wet ingredients, I've added all of my dry ingredients, and now there's only one step left to do, and that's to add the dye. Remember we're doing a hot pink half and the other half with blue one is fairy dyes. And we'll spray that with water, and then we'll have our two separate batches of different colors of bath bomb mix. So I will show you how we do that right now. Why don't you say So I have all of my colors ready to go and all that's left to do is to press these guys together and I will show you that whole process right now. Just hope that we're still okay. You always pick me up and let me down. We're spinning around, losing our minds. Then if we do, then if we don't, then if we give in what we want. And I always pick you up and let you down. We're spinning around, losing our minds. Then if we do.
Berry bath bombs turned out amazing. They smell so good. They smell delicious. Stick around to the very end of this video because we are going to show you what they look like the next day, as well as show you a demo on how these actually turn out in the water and how they perform. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> hey guys, I'm back. It is the next day and the bath bombs turned out amazing. They smell so good. It's such a strong scent blend of mulberry, strawberry, Blueberry, so it's basically just your um, like a big ball of berry goodness and it smells Oh my god, it smells so good. I think I already said that but I just can't get over how good it smells and it also looks Absolutely gorgeous. Look at this blue and pink and the sparkles on top Wow I think this bath bomb is gonna be a really popular one when you vend at markets It's definitely gonna have people stop and and come closer and I think it's gonna sell well Anything scented in berry scents tend to do really well, and I'm really glad that uh, we have this beautiful new addition to the Bath Bomb product line, and I can't wait to release it on the actual website in a couple of days. Yeah, days, because Bath Bombs are ready to sell um, pretty much 48 hours later. And the Bio Glitter just looks fantastic. And for those wondering, it sticks on there pretty good. See, I can go, I can put them upside down and they stay. Um, if I were to rub my finger across them, they would probably flake off a little bit, uh, but they stick on well enough so that if you were to shrink wrap them in biodegradable film, that should keep this protected so that when it reaches your customer's hands and they unwrap it, they will have a beautiful um, bath bomb that has biodeg biodegradable glitter still on top of it. So I don't know how sturdy these, these would be if you were to sell them completely naked. Um, how well that biodegra biodegradable glitter would stay on, but I think the adhesion is is more than enough. I'm going to demo this beautiful bath bomb so you can see just how beautiful it is. So I will show you that right now. So here's a demo of our berry bath bombs. I 
I just need you I don't know what it is you do I just want you I just need you I don't know what it is you do I just wanna love you I just wanna hold you Just wanna be with you till we grow old Just tell me you'll stay Or take me away I want you for myself every single day Oh my god, I am so amazed at the bath art on that bath bomb. Whew, I am so, so excited about including this bath bomb in our line. I think it's actually one of our prettiest bath bombs that makes the, some of the best, most impressive bath art. So, who can't wait to for you guys to get your hands on this bath bomb. Again, we're trying to figure out the name of it. Something berries. We're, we keep going back and forth. If you guys have any suggestions on a name for a bath bomb that smells like a blend of blueberries, mulberries, strawberries, just a, a very berry scented bath bomb, please suggest it in the comments below because I am so stuck. I don't know what to do. <laughs> if you like this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. Someone asked me to do other videos outside of bath bombs and soap. And I've been doing a lot of those soap and bath bomb videos because those were the videos that seemed to get a lot more views than my other types of products, but I will start to introduce more of those types of videos if you guys want them. I really have this channel for you guys, so if there is anything else you want to see. I know that there was some interest in how I made my body butters, but yeah, I could start doing more of that. And I'm very open to all of your suggestions, so please feel free to suggest a way what you want to see me make in the comments below. And until the next video, keep smiling, keep killing it in your businesses, and I will see you on Tuesday's video where I will reveal the winner of the big giveaway. So many people have participated in that giveaway. I am amazed at the amount of comments and amount of people that you tagged. So again, thank you guys so much. You make me feel so appreciated, and it's so nice to know that there are wonderful people out there that want to get their hands on my stuff, and I'm just so flattered and thankful. So again, I will see you guys soon on Tuesday's video. Have a good one. Bye.